and welcome to Getting to Know the New Malloy Athletics video series. Today we're joined by John Fitzsimmons. John is coming off a huge cross country and track and field season. He was all conference and cross country, helped the team finish second place in the ECC championship. He was all t uh, ECC second team in indoor track. As a member of the DMR that set the school record and the conference record at the championship winning gold. So, John, thanks for coming on. Thank you for having me. John, so you were, you were luck, lucky enough to have your cross-country and indoor season, as we mentioned, had a lot of success. But you missed yeah. out on the spring. What are some things you've been doing since you found out that the spring season was postponed? Um, since the season ended uh, March 12th, I've actually been running every single day. You know, uh, right now I feel like I'm in better shape than I was because I never stopped. You know, from the two months that we stopped, I've just been giving it my all. And uh, just recently, I took this week off, and um, I just got my summer schedule. So um, I'm starting back up this week, but, uh, you know, I'm getting those miles in because um, since the season ended, I feel like that, uh, that motivated me to uh, push even harder for next year because, you know, I just, I just want to be as the best I can be. That's good that you're taking a positive and making it something to motivate you and move forward to be better. Um, but it wasn't just the season that got – you know, switched around a little bit. You had to make the move to online classes. How did that go? How was that for you, that transition? Actually, you know, I, I miss all my classmates and my teachers, but um, it actually went pretty well. I actually um, got my highest GPA this semester. Congrats. And, um, you know, I'm really happy about that because I've been focusing a lot on school and I want to get my grades up. And, uh, I, you know, I did just that. You mentioned you were running and you're putting in the work and it's showing in your results, as we mentioned at the top. Thank you. What are some other things you've been doing in your free time? Um, you know, I've been helping out my dad. Uh, he's got a restaurant that, um, you know, we're just trying to focus on, get back running, you know, get the economy back going. Um, you know, I've been lifting weights a lot. Um, you know, uh, my work starts, I'm a lifeguard in the summer. So um, I'm just waiting for that to start up. That actually starts up tomorrow. But, um, you know, uh, just trying to stay in shape as best I can. What's the name of the restaurant? We'll give it a plug for this time. Uh, it's Eat Gastropub. Okay. There's one in uh, Oceanside and Island Park. Awesome. Thank you. So talk us, uh, talk us through your reaction to hearing that there was going to be no spring season. Um, I, was, I was in shock. You know, uh, during, um, you know, in February, there was all talks about this virus. And, uh, you know, everyone just blew it off. You know, I didn't think that much about it. I didn't think it would really affect us that much. And um, then March came around, it got worse. And I finally said, you know, this is, this is real. We had a, we had a team meeting. Um, you know, if you would have told me this in February, I probably wouldn't have believed you. And, um, you know, March came around and it got real. This is a different time you miss out in the spring season. You had to do online classes. What have you learned about yourself during this time? Um, you know, I'm, I've learned that I'm a, um, I'm a big motivator. You know, I like to keep myself strong. Um, you know, it's, it's hard. You know, the online classes, at first, you know, there was a lot of assignments. And usually online classes are hard to keep up with. You have to keep going, logging on every single day. But, um, you know, I've, I've grown a lot since the season ended. And this has taught me that, you know, I can do a lot more. So hopefully when things are back in the fall, you won't have to wait quite as long to get back into the field of competition. What are you looking forward to the most? Oh, um, well, when the season ended, I already set really high goals for myself for next year, you know, to keep improving in school, but yet on track in cross country. I, um, I got second team all conference in cross country this year. And, um, you know, all of high school, I, I never ran cross country. My, uh, my freshman year, I redshirted. And last year was my really full year of cross country. So this was like, you know, I, I, I know I could do it now. So, um, you know, next year as a senior, my goals are, you know, I set really high goals for myself. I want to be first team all conference and um, cross country. That's the goal for myself. Um, even the, you know, track, I have really high goals for the 800 and the mile. That's great. And uh, we're going to switch things up a little bit, maybe – we call them rapid fire, but you could answer with more than one word. Maybe just the first thing that comes to your mind when we say a particular question or phrase. Uh, first question, what's your favorite pregame meal? Pregame meal? 
Well, I like I always like the day before a race. I always love to eat a lot of pasta. That's that's, a, that's no doubt about that. But um, you know, in the morning I like to have um, you know, some eggs, yogurt's not bad, um, a banana, not to stuff up on anything like specifically, just to have a little bit of everything. Very nice. Like, Going off script on this, do you prefer cross country or track? Um. It's, it's close. You know, if you asked me this last year, I would have said track, no doubt. But since I had such a good um, cross-country season, it's, it's closer. I would still have to go with track, no doubt. Indoor or outdoor? Um, I would have to say indoor. Yeah, indoor. You're able to spend a lot of time with your teammates. Who's the funniest member of the team? Whew. You know, um, I, I have to say I'm pretty funny. but um, that's acceptable. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but, um, you know, we, we got a lot of funny members. We got Steve. He's a, he's a funny guy. Um, you know, we got Mateo. He's always trying to crack some jokes. So we, we got a good bunch of guys. What's your pump-up song? So, like, you listening to music right before a race, what would your go-to song be? Ooh. Um, you know, I'm a big country guy. It doesn't, it doesn't get me that pumped up, but it just keeps me a little focused, you know, uh, gets the nerves out of the way, you know, relaxes me a little bit. But, um, you know, I'm a big uh, Brett Young guy, Luke Holmes. They always get me, you know, relaxed for my races. Very nice. You guys take a couple road trips during the year to Boston. is always a big one. Who do you room with on the road? Um, usually it's, you know, um, Rob, uh, the freshman Rob this year. Um, usually Mateo, too. Um, Joe B., you know, they're a great bunch of guys, and, uh, you know, we have a lot of fun on the road. You can play any other sport at Molloy. Which one would you pick? Ooh. Um, you know, I played baseball up to, up until my sophomore year of high school, and then I really got into track. So I think that would be pretty cool if I, you know, went back to baseball. That would be pretty fun. That's the popular one. We've had a couple people say baseball so far. Yeah. <laughs> no, you've – Lucky enough with the track team, you guys are able to go to different meets, whether it be cross country or indoor track and field. Do you have a favorite meet that you compete in? Oh, uh, no doubt Boston. Um, you know, this year I actually uh, ran my best mile time at Boston. The last, you know, I didn't know the season was going to end, but that was my last race of um, indoors and the last race of the season. Um, you know, I had the benefit of running with, um, you know, former coach, uh, coach uh, Gallagher, Connor. Um, he actually ran with me at that Boston race and I had a second seven second PR in my mile time because you know he really paced me he led me the uh the first half mile of the way and I finally had a good kick at the end and I uh you know ran my best race that's awesome you beat him right of course good <laughs> uh so you've had a lot more time recently have you been watching anything on either tv or hulu or netflix what's your what's your current oh, yeah, I've, I've been watching a lot um you know, I've been watching um, Outer Banks. I just finished it um, a few weeks ago. I finished All American, and now currently I'm watching The Last Kingdom. Okay. So, yeah, I've been watching a lot. <laughs> now, it doesn't have to be track, but out of any uh, sport, who is your favorite athlete? Uh, I would have to say Derek Jeter. You know, um, just uh, you know, he was a leader, and he continues to lead on on in like off the field. And, um, you know, from since I was young, he was always a guy I just looked up to and just wanted to be like. So what would your favorite professional team be? Oh, the Yankees, no doubt, yeah. I'm also a big uh, Giants fan, too. That's good. Unfortunately, they haven't. I'm a big Yankee and Giant fan. The yeah. Yankees bring a lot more joy than the Giants do these days, but hopefully the Giants uh -huh. can turn the corner. Eventually. Awesome. John, I want to thank you for taking the time. It's been great watching you succeed on the track and off the track and on the cross-country course. Thanks for taking the time and be well. Thanks for having me. Thanks, John. Thank you.